Hail, and well met, stranger. The voice boomed over the den of the tavern. Tim Faust looked up from his drink to see a man in armor sitting down on the other side of him. I am Austin Brown. Unsure how he got this new acquaintance, Tim decided to get straight to business. What do you want? His hand drifted towards his sword, but quickly realized that it was still within its sheath at his waist. He sat back and took another sip of ale while waiting for an answer. Austin cracked open a bottle of wine and poured some into both their cups before answering. The stars have aligned themselves oddly these days, and I find myself with no company. Tim noticed a momentary flash of sadness on the man's face before returning to its usual stern glare. Surely by now you have heard of my reputation. Tim gave a quick nod while taking another sip from his drink. Hmm, that you are quite the fearsome warrior. Why do you need someone like me? A loud crash interrupted his response as a group of seven bandits ran into the tavern, swords drawn and demanding everyone's money. I'll show you fearsome. Austin proclaimed with passion in his voice as he prepared his massive blade and stood up to face the robbers. One of them turned towards him and sneered before taking off his cloak, revealing himself. The man's features were fey, his silver short hair rippling in the moonlight coming through the window. His eyes locked onto Austin's as he reached for his sword with both hands. Tim quickly grabbed the man's arm before he could unsheath it and whispered harshly into his ear. What are you doing? We are vastly outnumbered here. The man's mood shifted from curiosity to anger as he drew his own blade and began walking towards the pair. The name's Adam Chance. You have no idea who you're dealing with, boy, so it's best you just hand over your valuables right now. Tim looked back at the bar and saw the barmaid's face turn from shock to fear to anger as she ran towards them with a wooden axe in hand. Tim turned back towards Austin and saw that his eyes had begun to glow an ominous red as he laughed like a maniac and began moving towards the robbers as well. Tim groaned, realizing that this was going to be a very long night before following after them. 